Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are aiming for a career in cloud security, you know that the interview process can be quite challenging. Today, we are going to cover the top 5 cloud security interview questions that you need to be prepared for. Whether you are an experienced professional or just starting out, these questions will help you demonstrate your expertise and secure that dream job. Also, check the link in the description for a free cybersecurity interview question PDF with hundreds of questions and answers. So, let's get started. Question number one. What are the shared responsibility models in cloud security? The shared responsibility model is fundamental in cloud security defines the division of security responsibilities between the cloud service provider and the customer. For example, infrastructure as a service provider's responsibility is physical data center, network infrastructure, and virtualization layers, while the customer's responsibility are related to operating systems, applications, data, and network configurations. In platform as a service, providers' responsibilities are related to underlying infrastructure and runtime environment, while customers' responsibility of security is related to applications and data. In the software as a service model, providers' responsibility is everything from infrastructure to the application itself, while customers' responsibility is related to data and user access management. For an example, in AWS, services like EC2, which is infrastructure as a service, requires customers to manage the operating systems and applications. Whereas services like AWS Lambda, which is a platform as a service, handle more of the underlying infrastructure, leaving customers to focus primarily on their code and data. Understanding this model is crucial because it helps clarify what aspects of security you need to manage and what the provider handles, ensuring comprehensive protection of your cloud environment. Question number two, how do you ensure data security in the cloud? Data security in the cloud involves multiple layers of protection. There are some key strategies, for example, encryption. So there is encryption at rest and for this, we should use services like AWS KMS or Azure Key Vault to manage the encryption keys. For the encryption in transit, we shall implement TLS or SSL protocols to secure data as it moves between the client and servers. Then there is access control, like identity and access management, where we should utilize the IAM roles and policies in AWS or Azure AD to enforce least privilege accesses. We also have single sign-on should be integrated with solutions like Okta or Microsoft Azure AD to streamline and secure user authentication. Then there is data masking and tokenization. We shall use the tools like AWS Glue or Azure Data Factory to mask sensitive information in non-production environments. And also tokenization is a concept we shall implement to replace sensitive data elements with non-sensitive equivalents. Another part of ensuring that data security in cloud is solar audits and monitoring. So we shall use tools for automated monitoring like AWS CloudTrail, Azure Monitor, or Google Cloud's operation suite to track and log data access and uses. We can conduct regular audits against standards like GDPR, HIPAA, or PCI DSS to ensure data handling practices meet regulatory requirements. For this question, be prepared to discuss specific tools and practices you have used to safeguard data in cloud environments, such as implementing AWS Machi, for data loss prevention or use AWS information protection for labeling and classifying data. Question number three. Can you explain what a cloud access security broker is and its role in cloud security? A cloud access security broker acts as an intermediary between cloud service users and cloud applications, providing a critical layer of security. Key functions of cloud access security brokers are visibility, compliance, threat protection, and data security. 
For visibility, tracks user action across cloud services to detect unusual behavior. It can also identify unauthorized cloud applications being used within the organization. For policy enforcement, it can ensure that cloud users complies with regulations like GDPR, HIPAA, and CCPA. So manage where data is stored to comply with regional data protection laws. CASB also can be used for advanced threat intelligence to identify and block malicious activities. Using this, we can also implement machine learning algorithms to detect deviations from normal user behavior. Also ensure sensitive data is encrypted or tokenized before it leaves the corporate environment. For data loss prevention, it prevents sensitive data from being shared or leaked through cloud services. There are some popular CASB solutions which are McAfee Vision Cloud, there is Microsoft Cloud App Security, Netscope and Symantec CloudSoc. Understanding the role of CASPs demonstrate your knowledge about advanced security solutions in the cloud ecosystem and how they help ensure security policies to and protect data across multiple cloud services. Question number four, how do you handle identity and access management in the cloud? Effective AM is critical for securing cloud environments. Key practices include principle of least privilege, where we have role-based access control, which defines the specific permissions and assign users to these roles based on their job functions. There is also attribute-based access control, where user attributes and environmental conditions to grant access dynamically. We have multi-factor authentication, where we shall enforce MFA for all users, especially for privileged accounts, and using tools like Google Authenticator, hardware tokens. There is also adaptive MFA, which uh, adjusts authentication requirements based on the user behavior and risk levels. Then we have federated identity management, where we can integrate SSO solutions with cloud providers to streamline user access while maintaining security. We can use protocols like SAML, OAuth, or OpenID Connect to allow users to authenticate across multiple platforms seamlessly. Regular and periodic audits are always a part of cloud security. We shall conduct periodic reviews of user permissions to ensure they align with the current job responsibilities. We can also use automated alerts for suspicious access attempts or changes in IAM configuration using tools like AWS Config or Azure Security Centers. For IAM practices, each cloud has its own. For example, AWS has AWS IAM where we can utilize IAM rules, policies, and AWS organizations to manage access across multiple AWS accounts. In Azure, of course, we have Azure Active Directory, where we can leverage the conditional access policies and identity protection features to enhance security. In Google, we have Google Cloud IAM, where we can implement granular permissions and service accounts to control access to Google Cloud resources. With this question, be ready to discuss how you have implemented these IAM practices in past roles, such as setting up federated identity with Azure Active Directory or enforcing MFA across an organization using AWS IAM policies. Question number five, what strategies do you use to secure cloud infrastructure? Securing cloud infrastructure involves several comprehensive strategies. For example, in network security, we have virtual private cloud where we can design VPCs with subnets route tables and network gateways to isolate and protect resources. We also have security groups and network ACLs where we can implement security groups for instance level security and network ACLs for subnet level security to control inbound and outbound traffic. There is also zero trust architecture which can be adopted but no identity is trusted by default and verification is required for every access request.
next we have configuration management there is concept called infrastructure as a code and where we can use tools like terraform aws cloud formation or azure resource manager to automate and standardize infrastructure deployments configuration compliance we shall ensure configurations comply with best practices and frameworks like cis benchmarks using tools like chef inspect or aws config rules shall also have patch management in place so automated patching should be implemented with solutions like aws system manager patch manager or azure update management to ensure systems are up to date also regularly scan for vulnerabilities in tools like qualys nessus or openwas and apply patches promptly we can also integrate security checks into ci cd pipelines using tools like jenkins GitLab CI or AWS code pipeline students such as isolating compromised instances or revoking access credentials. We can use SIM solutions like Splunk, ELX, ELK stack or AWS security help to aggregate and analyze security logs in real time. We can also configure real time alerts for suspicious activities such as unauthorized access attempts or data exfiltration using services like Azure Sentinel or Google Cloud Security Command Center. Some additional strategies for cloud securities are container security, where for Docker containers, implement security best practices using tools like Docker benchmarks for security, Kubernetes network policies and runtime security tools like Equa or Sysdic. There is also strategies for serverless securities where we shall secure the serverless applications by enforcing strict IAM roles, monitoring function executions, and limiting resource permissions. So for this question, discussing these strategies shows that you have a comprehensive approach to securing cloud environments, incorporating both proactive and reactive measures to protect against a wide range of thre threats. So, and there you have it, the top five cloud security interview questions you should be ready to tackle. Remember, thorough preparation is the key. So make sure you understand these concepts deeply and can relate them to your experiences. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more career tips and cloud security insights. Good luck with your interviews and stay secure.